Look, I gotta tell you guys straight up, this shoe needs to be talked about more. I don't know what it is about this particular shoe that's got people all twisted, but I gotta say, man, this is one of my favorite releases of, from Nike this year. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. I am HK Smash. Today, we're talking about the fragment design Nike Dunk High. If this is your first time here at the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, come back for some more. We're gonna talk about plenty of sneaker drops. And of course, I need to welcome back the returning members of this community. I'm glad to have you back here. Of course, you guys got to make sure you don't leave this video so you hit that like button. I'm going to start by asking you guys a question, and maybe you can clarify it in the comment section. What is it about this shoe that people don't like? I'm having a hard time understanding why this shoe hasn't gotten the respect that I think it deserves. Now, obviously, everything that I like to talk about is clearly an opinion, so I want to make sure I respect people's opinions if they simply don't think the shoe is all that or... They just don't like the design. Whatever the case may be, I want to make sure I respect that. What I'm just having a hard time understanding is that I think this shoe just checks off all of the marks that I'm looking for uh, when it comes to a dunk high. I've had these shoes for a few weeks. I've worn them a handful of times, put them through the ringer, and I got to say, it's it's a comfortable shoe to wear. I also want to make sure I get this out of the way qu quickly. We all know that Nike's quality control has been abysmal. It's been awful. I don't know what it is. I'm sure there's plenty of excuses and reasons why they haven't been able to get their quality control up, but uh, clearly they've missed the mark on this shoe from a quality control. I'm sure you guys could probably see it even right here in the video. Look at that right there. Blue stains. Can't even You can't even ship me these shoes without glue stains. That's been an ongoing issue I've noticed with Nike releases over this year alone is the quality control has not been there. Maybe the shoe isn't really that celebrated because of the material. This is also the second dunk that I've gotten my hands on this year and I gotta say I like the material on this one more than my all-star dunk. The leather on this shoe just feels a lot more soft. It's really really clean it's smooth even the crinkling in the toe box when i wore these i want to say after maybe the second or third wear i noticed that uh there was a lot of creasing in the toe box and maybe that's one of the reasons why not a lot of people like the shoe is because it creases easily but as far as i'm concerned i think these shoes are going to look better the more you wear them get a little bit more creasing in the toe box it's gonna look nice i'm a big fan of the fragment logo on the heel i'm liking the text on the midsole as well the black to white midsole and outsole is a nice touch. I love the way these colors accent one another. It just looks really good. I also like how this particular Dunk High has a really soft ankle. On my All-Star Dunks, they don't necessarily have that soft cushioning. Uh, this is a huge selling point for me that it feels really good on my ankle when I tie them up nice and tight. I feel like I not only have the support that I need, but it's also hugging my ankles. I actually thought about skating in these. I had somebody actually on TikTok mention it might not have been a good idea to skate in them, and I haven't. Obviously, you could see they haven't really been beat up that much. I've just been walking around with them, wearing them out on errands, wore them to the gym twice already, hit legs with them. They work. This particular sneaker retails at 150 bucks, which is not terrible, considering it is a collaboration piece and it has a full leather upper. I think that might have brought the price up just a little bit from its normal $110 price point. Not terrible. I've also seen a lot of chatter within the sneaker community about Dunks in particular this year not having the best quality. That's been very top of mind for a lot of people. I'm seeing a lot of discussion about why people are buying reps over the real versions of these shoes because the reps tend to have a better quality. Now, obviously, I don't have any reps, so I can't necessarily speak to the quality difference between the two. But if anything, that should be a telltale sign that Nike really should change the type of materials that they're using in their shoes. What's even crazier is that the margins of profit that resellers are able to get on those dunks is pretty crazy. I mean, it's really the perfect storm. You've got a sneaker that starts anywhere between $100, $110 and they're going for upwards $250 to $350 on average. That's great profit margins for those resellers. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think any of those dunks really do, uh, are really justified at that price point, at least for me. I, there's no way I can see myself spending upwards of 300 bucks on a pair of $100 shoes, especially if the quality isn't there. And oddly enough, this is not my first pair of fragment dunks. I ended up getting a second pair under retail 
which is kind of crazy. I want to say during the first two to three weeks after the release of these, they were going anywhere between 200, 250 bucks. So about $100 over the retail price and they've dropped significantly. So if anything, right now is the time to strike on a pair of these shoes. I also noticed that uh, I went true to size on this particular pair and the same with my other dunk highs. I noticed that they tend to run a little bit longer in the toe box. So I do suggest going down a half a size if you're looking for more of a snug fit. However, if you do decide to go true to size, you'll be totally fine. No need to double sock. And I, I love the purple stitching, man. The attention to detail, although the Nike quality control, like I said, has been ass. Uh, I really like the small details on how the shoe was put together. I really, really love this shoe. This is definitely one of my top pickups this year. And I'm honestly really glad I doubled up. Now, I wish I would have waited to put these on. I would have actually liked to put these on ice, which I might end up doing anyway and then use that size nine and a half that I have coming in shortly, which I'm sure by the time this video releases, I'll have those in hand. I honestly think this shoe is going to get the respect it deserves at a later time. I have a gut feeling that after Travis Scott and Fragment drop their one highs and lows, these shoes are going to be the next ones to go up. And I only say that because I, I think there's the chance that you know, obviously people are going to miss out on those, on both of those shoes, myself included. There's going to be a good chance that I'm going to miss on them. I'm going to go after them just like any, everybody else. Right. However, I think that the fear of missing out is going to come into effect very quickly after those two shoes drop. And I think a lot of people are going to go after this one. So if you are a reseller, um, I think it might be a good opportunity to maybe buy and hold these guys, uh, right now dunks in general seem to be doing really well. Um, but don't take my word for it. Obviously go after what you feel you need to go after, but I think right now the prices on these are low. And if you follow the markets, I always like to buy at the dip and hold. Honestly, I think at the end of the day, these shoes are going to get a solid nine out of 10. I know that's pretty high for these. Obviously Nike quality control. If their quality control was just a, a little bit better, like just show that you actually care about the way these shoes look once they're in the factory and they get put into their box and be shipped to the customer, if Nike actually showed a little bit of care on getting the glue stains off of the shoes and making sure there was no frays in some of the stitching, this would be a solid 10 for me. I know that might be kind of crazy. I'm sure I'm gonna get roasted for that, but I love these shoes. The material is fantastic. They're comfortable, but you guys know I'm always about being comfortable. If you can tick both of those boxes, a good looking sneaker while also being comfortable on foot, I'm taking that home with me every day of the week. Did you guys end up picking up a pair of these? Let me know in the comment section. Did you pass? Tell me why. I really would like to know. Make sure you guys stay locked in. Subscribe to the channel for some more sneaker reviews. I've got plenty of sneakers to talk about with y'all. And don't forget to stick around for some of those live streams. We're going to be live streaming on YouTube for the foreseeable future. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. I'm signing off. I'm going to put these on and enjoy the rest of my weekend. And I hope you guys do the same.